Hello Capricorn and welcome to your February reading. So uh, in honor of February I'm gonna do the general and then after a little love bonus for uh, St. Valentine's Day with the Lenormand cards. So I've meditated on your energy Capricorn, laid down the first layer of cards like I usually do and what spirit wants to talk to you about this month. The first card that I have is the Pope. So the Pope, this is like to what we are engaged, um, commitment, discernment, the 3D version of our lives, our reality in a way, um, when our morality, dogmas, what we are faith, what we believe in, the keys it gives us to actually act in this world. After that, I have the Five of Swords, which is an energy, uh, it's in Geburah. So, of course, Geburah is that sphere of um, divine consciousness where there's a readjustment that needs to happen. This is using the mind to win something. Uh, either it is being done to us or we do it. So that's why on the card you see this guy just defeated the two other men that are like in the background here and feeling very sorry for themselves. So we are either this character or these characters. It depends one side or the other of the fence, of the coin, of the same energy. Um, then we have... Queen of Pentacle, that's you, with the Six of Cups. So this is your feminine energy of what you allow. And this is a balanced heart chakra. Six of Cups. Uh, Thiferet. Um, it's that giving and receiving of emotional abundance with no expectation, with the innocence of children, with the purity of flowers grow from it. Um, it has that nostalgic flavor of what it's supposed to be. Uh, under the Pope here, our engagements, I have the Tree of Sword. So, uh, and then under that I have the Five of Pentacle. So here, you're starting the month with a very hard realization of the disappointments in your life. And how um, either you've been put aside, you've lacked, the universe wasn't generous with you. Um, maybe you sacrificed a lot, but it's the five of pentacles, it's hardship, it's the lack mentality. Uh, with the five of swords, five of pentacles. And... Uh, under our Five of Swords, I have the Five of Wands, another five, with the Ace of Wands. Now, that's, that is very good. Um, five of Wands, we see, it's when our energies are dispersed. This is willpower, this is fire, this is energy. And in the Five of Pentacles, it goes all over the place. Um, in a good sense, it could be just a very nice brainstorming uh, before a reunion, you know, before we pull out that one idea that's going to be grounded. And when everybody agrees, they put their wills in the shape of a pentacle, the five-pointed star with those five sticks. And that is grounding a passion and a vision, an opinion, a willpower. So here it's not grounded, it's immature, it's not aligned. And here we have an extra one which makes the six of wands, which would be a balanced will, balanced ego and all of that. So there is this um, thing that you receive, this kind of, uh, ah, a new willpower, a new passion, something, a beginning, a spark that you receive in the month of February that makes you look at 
this vibration of three of swords and five of pentacle part of you will probably want a revenge of fighting of destroying of winning over whomever made you feel like that um, for some of you and others of you will use that in another way uh, under here are five of swords I have the ten of cups that means that this realization this ace of wands brings you to a ten of cups this is your capacity to exchange emotional abundance with others and we go through the ten of cups many times in our lives of course and every time it's uh, like every uh, suit we hit the 10 and then we start again with the one at a higher conscious level like the 10 of cups you had when you were 15 is not the same as now so here it marks the at this level of consciousness this is the highest i can live vibrate when it comes to my emotions that i can share that i can receive and give it marks the end of that and you kind of kind of see it you will feel these energies five of swords three of swords five of pentacle and this will bring a conflict in within you when you will have that brand new spark inside of you finishing that cycle so some of you will go and balance your heart chakra here uh, under that i have ten of pentacle and knight of cups moving forward with a cup and probably there'll be an ace of cups somewhere uh, from our ten uh, in a very solid engaged manner ten of pentacle at that level and here under that i have um, king of cups and death so a trans a deep emotional transformation uh, maturing of the emotions king of cups it's you if you're dealing with the king of cups um, then it is the transformation of that dynamic with that person death but if this is a part of you because we all have the kings and queens inside of us this is the part of us that is stable emotionally that actually knows how he feels and masters these emotions with knowledge um, emotional intelligence here you see him how he's pounding and death that transformation deep transformation happening here so let's clarify bottom of the deck i have the six of swords so whatever here rocky waters i believe so yes if you start the month like that know that the, at the end of the month you will be in calmer waters so there's a movement happening here i call upon the divine i call upon the light I call upon the holy spirit Help me clarify this reading for Capricorn for the month of February. Capricorn. Okay, let's look at the uh, Pope here, the Hierophant, the Pope. Why is the Pope there for Capricorn spirit and guides? Okay. Ten of Cups. Yeah. This is a family situation for some of you. Okay. Uh, and you've hit your ceiling. Something's got to happen. There's a uh, grasp of consciousness that has to happen emotionally for you to vibrate at another level when it comes to what you can receive from others and what you can give show me the five of sword why is this, why is the five of sword here for capricorn 
Because if, the, if this would be super happy marriage, you wouldn't have Three of Swords and Five of Pentacles under it. This is telling me that you've hit the ceiling. Now it is time to get this new, see Page of Cups, to get a new cup so that you can rise at another level there and, and, and grow from, uh, from that. Five of Swords. Queen of Cups. Now these two together. Uh, that can be emotional defeat uh, within yourself, feeling all uh, emotional during the month because you feel defeated. You feel that somebody won up on you totally and that disrupted you emotionally. Um, it can also be um, the turning around of the five in the sense of now I know my value, I will not um, sabotage myself by expecting from others what I should see within myself. Okay? Here, this is seeing one's value. One's cup, this she she's has the ace of cup within her, and she's the one that's going to allow the amount of water that's going to come from the universe towards her. That's our feminine part inside of us. So, here with the five of sword, uh, our, uh, are your emotions um, being. beaten are they being uh, or are you using your emotion because that can be uh, emotional manipulation also but it can be done to you or are you doing it to yourself out with you know beating yourself up sabotaging yourself by uh, emotionally uh, manipulating yourself you know emotional sabotage uh, this is something to look at because your key is through the mastering of uh, these emotions here. So how did you screw yourself or let others screw you emotionally? For when it was time to receive, to know the value of. That's what it means. So then you have the Queen of Pentacles, which is you with the Six of Cups. So there's a healing of the heart chakra here. Or an intent in the heart chakra. So, show me what it is, spirit. What is this? Because there's a rebalancing that needs to happen, that's for sure. Because right now there's um, mental activity hurting your capacity to receive love. Let's say it like that. Six of Cup. Six of Cup. Ah, well, there's... All right. So there's your Five of Pentacle. Okay? When it comes to Queen of Pentacle, knowing your value, being cared for, being nurtured, having what it takes to nurture others also, and, and all about that. This is huge lack mentality. With this, we have the chariot. So, this is telling me you have to go in your heart chakra and heal it. Because these energies have to be transformed. Here, we have it with death. So that your chariot can be uh, aligned. Because if not, this would be like, uh, you know, chaos with the chariot. If the two horses... Are not completely aligned like what we want consciously and what we believe unconsci unconsciously if they are not aligned they go in two different directions and it's a car crash there you know when we say train wreck this is it it's mastering what is happening in the invisible and in the visible uh, when it comes to this 
because you could be starting the month with a huge disappointment uh, there. And what are you going to do with that disappointment? That's that's the question. Tree of Sword. What is the Tree of Sword? Uh, King, uh, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. There's something you wanted. There's something you desired. Uh, and it brought you disappointment. It wasn't how you thought it would be. Here, what is that? Um, five of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Okay. Ten of Wands, the Fool. End of that cycle also. Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. The way you've been doing things and carrying on your shoulders, bringing something to term. It's like having the, the grass cut under your feet. Is that how they say it? Uh, but that new wand is propulsing you into a new cycle. Because the old cycle was a conflicted cycle. A cycle of fighting, a cycle of things not being aligned. Uh, here, you are being propulsed into a new cycle. Now, what is the Ten of Pentacles and the Prince of Cups? Queen of Sword. You're making a decision. You're you're, maybe you're going to change the family structure you're in. Or the, when I see the family structure, if you were just two in a dog, that's a family structure. If you were alone, single, that's the change of that family structure. Of what is your family structure. Uh, with the Knight of Cups, you're deciding to bring your heart forward as a compass. You're going to follow your heart, but in a very uh, wise and decisive way. Cutting out the bullshit. Here you had bullshit. The, uh, the Queen of Swords, she went through the Five of Swords and the Three of Swords and all of that. And now she's wise about it. So this is almost having had um, hopes and, and something you attracted towards you that turned out to be very disappointing, very uh, showing you a bit maybe how you, how much you allowed love to come into your life. Sometimes we, because we always attract mirrors of uh, inside of us. But this one showed you the Five of Pentacles. Maybe you really desired somebody that did not give you what you deserved at all. Made you feel left out in the cold. Um, emotionally manipulated you. And, and uh, so there's an understanding and a healing, balancing of the heart chakra that needs to happen from that what is that five of pentacles ace of pentacles that's good because that arrives see through healing you are going to balance that five of pentacles five plus one is six six of pentacles it's equal give and take receiving from a fulfilled place and giving from a fulfilled place not from a place of lack and receiving absolutely nothing. And that is going to be true healing because you are going to see that what you were attracted were disappointments. And there was a difference between your expectations and the agreements out there. Uh, like I expect to be warm, but I'm going to buy a pair of shorts. And then I'm going to be disappointed because I'm cold in them, of course. But this is kind of, uh, you can put that in relationships, in job, in whatever. It's that kind of, 
understanding what we've been attracting. Show me the Ten of Cups. Show me the Ten of Cups. So, there's our Queen of uh, Pentacle, Knight of Pentacle, and Justice. For some of you, this decision you're taking with the Queen of uh, Sword has to go to court. For others of you, this is the justice of a karma. Through that understanding, you're bringing balance when it comes to your value and your values, Queen of Pentacle, how much you're worth and what, uh, how much are worth others around you, the value of things and what you want to bring forward. There's like justice here there's a rebalancing arriving on that level and that is due to the fact that you are going to go deep inside king of cups and transform what is distorted there how maybe in your queen of cups you were kind of sabotaging yourself or letting others do it king of cups The hermit going deep inside and finding your truth, letting that guide you. And death, what is transforming here? Ah, there you go. Oh, that's beautiful. At the end of it all, what you understand is the empress. See all those queens that are here? What you see is the empress, the one that allows unconditional love and that is vibrating at that level. Um, the emperor loves her unconditionally. He doesn't need to manipulate her for her to love him unconditionally. It nourishes her. It takes care of her. He only brings her truth, no bullshit. He brings her deep through emotions, like the King of Cups also. And she does the same towards him, like all the queens. It's having that clear understanding. Oh, I get it now, what it is to vibrate there, and therefore attracting people that will actually vibrate to the same level. And that will change the conditions of my life. Will of Fortune. This is the realization of what you were attracting compared to what you will vibrate at the end of the month. Or it can be, you know, time fluid. At the end of the month, through that understanding, you're going to vibrate at a totally different level. There will not be any more dispersion of your will and the mind here with the Five of Swords. In the emotions, this is like, uh, you know, trickery of the mind in the emotions. Very hard to undo. And because of that, this is going to be like, this is what I'm worth. Um, basically saying, that if it we're talking about work, it's like being and giving your all to somewhere and a, for a company that don't even recognize you. That make you feel cheap for not working on weekends on top of it, you know, like or, or leaving at six. And then all of a sudden you're like, my God, I am worth so much more than that. The ideas that I bring, the heart that I bring into things, this is uh, the engagement I have in what I do. This is worth a lot more than what they can see because now I can see it and as long as I couldn't see it I couldn't manifest it in my life and now the circumstances of my life will turn if we're talking emotionally this is attracting guys that just give you the bare minimum for you to stick around don't make you feel rich inside 
show you the lacks that you have, uh, bring you disappointments and heartaches. And then this is that transformation where, and, and that brought conflict within yourself. And this is that decision where, oh my God, I am worth so much more than that. And I am moving forward because of that understanding of the Empress. And whether you're a man or a woman, now I am only allowing this into my life. And that will change the will of fortune. You are changing how you feel about yourself, your truth about your emotional self with, within, deep within. Uh, so, uh, it's a deep transformation. There you go. That's how we're going to call it. Deep transformation. Okay. Now, for love. What I have here, the first card, I have the house. So this is our home, our family. Uh, here's the king of hearts. This is the king of cups here. Um, so it's our family home. But it's also our home, you know, your body, who you are, the interactions with the parts of you inside of you. I have the heart, and this is the love, the love inside the home. After that, those two came. There's the fox and the clouds. Now, this is sneakery, this is connivingery. This is Five of Swords. And the clouds, this is when things are foggy. We don't know anymore. Things are not clear. There's clouds in front of us. Um, so when it comes to your emotional well-being in your home, in who you are, there is this uh, fox in the grass that brings clouds where you couldn't see clearly. And you are, this month, getting that uh, truth. So it affects also romantically. Bottom of the deck, I have the moon, which is recognition. And then under, I have the clover. The clover? Clover? There you go. Which is luck. It brings luck. It brings positive energy. in the moon, which is recognition. Uh, if it would be work, it would be a pro promotion. So, uh, you know, uh, being famous, being recognized. So, recognizing yourself. You are going to fall in love with you this month. And by falling in love with you, because you're going to know your true value, Capricorn, you are going to attract people that will be seeing the same thing. We cannot receive from outside what we, can, what we can't give to ourselves first. And here you are recognizing yourself. You are removing this um, emotional sabotage when it comes to the value of you. Yeah. The value of you. So, this is your reading, Capricorn. I'm going to send you all my love and light for the month of February. Happy Valentine's Day. If you are single, celebrate it for you. Because this is it. Celebrate the beauty of you. The value of you. You're the Empress at the end of the month. Um, thank you for um, the comments. I read them all. For your sharing the videos, it helps to grow the channel, subscribing and, and all of that. Um, private readings, the description is below. Uh, thank you for the ones of you that gave donations. I do every month the ceremony on the first, uh, on the full moon and the new moon to give you back. And on this, namaste and See you next month, all right?